Tis I, Lara Croft, just casually globetrotting and murdering every animal I see. Lara Croft may be an archaeologist's best friend, but she's David Attenborough's worst nightmare. Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner. And if you've watched Ian's VR Corner before and ever wondered what my VR Corner looked like, well, uh, allow me to give you a guided tour of the mansion what I live in. Look at these slabs of beef for hands. Crazy. Ooh, got a lovely view out of the window there. No, obviously this isn't my real house. This is, in fact, Tomb Raider Classic in VR, thanks to a brand new work-in-progress mod from Team Beef. So, yeah, Team Beef has got Tomb Raider Classic working in first-person VR with six DOF view and motion controls. So that means I can do things like uh, backflips or rolls, all using my Quest controllers. Wow. Ah, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Is that the Ark of the Covenant? I've never noticed that before for some reason. But now we're in VR, there's loads of stuff I can notice, I expect. Whoa. They really are pointy. My God. Have someone's eye out with those. Ah, the dreaded assault course. Let's see if I can get to grips with this the controls the here. Room. I don't actually run everywhere. With the walk button down, I won't fall off, even if you try to make... If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Ah, then press in the direction you want to look. Ah, I don't need to do that, Lara. I could just use my head because we're in VR. So you might be wondering how this controls in VR, considering this game isn't really the... um. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. <laughs> forward and I'll climb up. <laughs> Come on, have you got Lara? So yeah, the VR controls have been uh, pretty much tailor-made for this, and so far they work pretty well. Um, this doing really this big, big jump is going to be a, a test, though. Oh, oh! <laughs> At least it doesn't spin you upside down when you're doing that. I got the action button, did I? No. Nice. Oh, maybe I did. Well, we're doing lots of fancy mantles here. So I should be able to shimmy up this by jumping. I can't climb up because and the gap grabbing. is too small. But and here we go, right, yeah. And I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. So then Lara's arms forward. stick to my vision. So if I look to the right, it kind of looks like she's not holding, but I did the shimmy. And now, come on up, you get Lara. Ah, oh, there we go. Backwards. Let's go for a swim. Okay. I remember swimming in this game being a right pain in the ass in the originals. Um, but, you know, it might be a little bit different in VR, and this water looks lovely. I'm running this on PC VR, by the way. Uh, Team Beef have also done a standalone version for the Quest headset, but you will need an original copy of Tomb Raider or the Tomb Raider remastered games in order to get this to work. Sploosh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Swimming around. Follows the direction of my head nicely. Oh, that's that's smooth AF. Look at me. I'm like a dolphin. Now, can I get out again? <sighs> oh, air. Go to the edge and press action to climb out. Action is trigger. Right. Now I'd better take there off we these go. clothes. <laughs> oh my. All right, well that was a quick look in the beef mansion, but let's see how Tomb Raider the game actually plays, shall we? I've skipped the FMV cutscene, and we are now inside the very first level of the original Tomb Raider. Hopefully, I've got some pistols. Here we go. So I can equip those into my slabs of beef. Look at these guns. They're incredible. And uh, I can aim wherever I want, which is nice. Look at that. Okay. Better try and avoid the darts. Oh. Oh. Well, those darts are so chunky. Look at the size of them. Ooh. Oh, that really would have taken my eye out. 
These little doggy paw prints everywhere. Bats! Good job these things have infinite ammo because those bats are pretty hard to hit. Tis I, Lara Croft, just casually globetrotting and murdering every animal I see. Lara Croft may be an archaeologist's best friend, but she's David Attenborough's worst nightmare. Now, in order to get this game working, as I mentioned, you're going to need some original files from the original game. You can get those from the original game and also from Tomb Raider Remastered. You can't play this with the Tomb Raider Remastered graphics, but that doesn't matter because I love the chunky retro look in VR. Yeah! Okay, so pulling levers should just be the action button. Maybe. How do? Oh, there we go. Just had to stand myself in a in the correct position. Oh god. Oh yeah, it's that bat Neo from the Matrix. Dodged every bullet. There is a quick save button. Where is it? Is it that one? There it is. Save game. There you go. And now let's try and jump and grab. So it's jump and then... Oh, not that one. That one. There we go. Up we get. Nice and easy. Just like the original Tomb Raider game. I feel like the controls are going to take a little while to get used to. But so far, it seems fairly intuitive, you know. Okay, we've got some angry wolves here. They seem to have woken up. Unless they're already dead. Oh, no, now they've woken up. Oh, look, you can see the blood splats. God, it's so much easier to kill animals this way. <laughs> That's not a phrase I thought I'd be saying any time in my life. But, yeah, holy shit, free aiming in VR is the way to go with uh, these controls. I actually think playing this game in VR might end up being the best way to do it. Look at these vines. So nice. That's a save crystal. Don't really need it because we've got the quick save. But there may be a bear down here, from what I remember. I'm going to try, anyway, put my guns away. I'm going to try and do a long jump and get over here. Hop. Nice. Now, if you'd have said to 90s Ian when I was a, a wee nipper playing this game originally, if you'd have said, Ian... One day you'll be able to play this in virtual reality. I'd have called you a liar and I'd have spat in your face because I was an asshole when I was a teenager. But here I am, shooting wolves in virtual reality as Lara Croft, OG Lara Croft, with the pointers and everything. Can I jump across to here? Jump and... Oh, that was paused. <laughs> I can. I was meant to grab it, but it doesn't matter. Oh, is this a... Found a little secret. Okay, how are we getting this? Not that. Action. Just above, press action just above it, which is the trigger. And that'll do it. I keep pressing the grip button instead of the trigger button, which is going to take a little bit of getting used to. I love these flat textures in VR. So old school. Such an awesome aesthetic. Now, I need to pull this lever and then get up there before the doors close. Jump. Oh, jump too far. Always do that. Doesn't matter. So, jump and grab. And jump and grab. Come on. We can do it, Lara. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm through. And there they go. Closing behind me. Could have timed it better so it's kind of, you know, Indiana Jones grab the hat kind of thing, but meh, doesn't matter. All right, more darts. Oof. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Is there more darts in this bit? Maybe not. Oh, God, dog. Okay. Yeah, oh my god, it's so much easier. I do not love the detail on these guns. These must be the original models, are they? They're definitely the original textures. Whee! Anyone else want a shooting? Okay, guns away. And 
jump right over nice didn't even need to grab sense of scale in this is great as well nice big caverns to explore lara's arms fairly basic and those elbows are a bit weird but we're working with the technology they had at the time right where are you something's angry missed it every time come on go i feel like a couple more dogs come so let's just do the old vr thing of being able to peer and point around the corner no dogs okay we're fine okay lever pulled oh now we've got a little bit of a cut scene that i could move around but the door down here has opened for me this might be the end of the level winner all right, things kick off pretty quickly in this one. Oh my god, I love it. This is so good. You've got you've got the feeling of being in the original Tomb Raider in VR, but shooting is so, so much better. Oh, the amount of frustrating shootouts I've had in this game in both the remastered version and the original version just because of the way Lara Croft locks on with her aim. But now, I have none of those problems. I can just aim and shoot myself. Not shoot myself. Although that was technically possible. You know what I mean. Whoa! Crazy bats coming at me from the ceiling as well. Oh god, hopefully this means shooting those bloody spiders will be easier as well. Because they're a nightmare to kill. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh, here they come. Loads of them. Can't hit any of them. There we go. I don't know how it's going to be firing other guns. But they've all got limited ammo, so for things like the bats, it's definitely a good idea to use Lara's pistols, I think. Forward roll. Backwards roll. Whoa. Look at that little thing. It's a little triangle head with his little angry mouth. Amazing. Now I get to appreciate these 90s assets in all their close-up glory. And believe me, glory is the operative word here. This is a glorious mod from Team Beef. I love it so far. That water looks great in VR really does okay there's a bear through here let's see if i can sneak up on the bear oh god no that's massive oh shit oh my god it's so much easier to kill things take that yogi that bear made me jump out my skin though talking about jumping let's jump and grab and pull up there we go. Look at that face. That's creepy. Okay, let's give this a tug. Nice. Look how chunky everything is. It's beautiful. Look at this weird animal skin. I remember being kind of freaked out by it back in the day because those arms are just far too long and the legs are really short. It looks monstrous, but in VR it looks even weirder. It looks like someone skinned an alien that has a massive dong. Honk. And these, I never really understood what these were, but looking at them from VR, I, I guess they're snake skins hung out to dry? That would make perfect sense. Jumping over here. Yeah. These things break. Let's see if I can jump across in time. Yeah. Get myself a first aid kit. Ah uh -huh. Check out the spooky skulls on the walls. It's like being in the Parisian catacombs down here. Look at that. But I do have to jump down here and try out the old push me, pull me block routine. Okay, there we go. So this is just hold down the action trigger and then push forward. And we're going with it. There are bats in here though. So let's disengage for a second and, yep. Whoa! Oh my God, it's right on my face. I think it was trying to lay eggs in my brains. 
That's how bats work, right? Can't destroy the pottery, but I should be able to pick up this key here. Nice. That's in my inventory. There's something good up there. Oh, and there's a little collectible here. Got you. Now jump and grab and pull. Look at this furniture. Uh-oh. Take that, batty. Look at this little wickery chair here. The table and the pot on top. There's a save crystal. Don't need it. Don't need it. Because I've got... Oh, bad case of the bat. I've got a quick save. Yeah. Should I swim down there? I don't know if I even need to swim down here now. I've got the key, but sod it. Let's go swimming. It's the A button to uh, breaststroke forwards. And yeah, you swim in the direction you're looking. Very, very intuitive. There's probably a bunch of collectibles up here. Let's pick up on the floor that I've missed. But let's go and grab this lever before my oxygen runs out, shall we? You've really got to be in the right position. There we go. It was a little, little bit fiddly grabbing on that lever. I nearly drowned. But thankfully, Lara is fine. And I should now be able to pull her out into a secret area. Lovely. Alright, here's that locked door. Action on that. Is that doing it? Oh, there we go. So you have to do it from the menu. So yeah, just like the original Tomb Raider, some car some of the interactions... F fuck! Ow! Fairly clunky. Just took an arrow to the abdomen there. But you can sort them out. You can do it. You can work them out. A little bit of trial and error seems to be going my way. These dogs are so sleepy. Sorry, they're all having a nap and I've woken them up and killed all their families. Hey, I'm Lara Croft. It's what I do. So this section coming up now. I have vivid memories of this section from back in the day when I first played this game on the PC because it made me f***ing rage. Because Lara is attached to your head as well, it makes backing up and getting in the right position for things a lot easier. So if I use the grip button on the left controller to walk to the edge without falling off, and then press jump and then forward jump and grab, there we go. Ooh, face through the wall slightly for that, but it's all good. And then this should just be a run and jump. Yeah. Look at me, I'm tomb raiding. Okay, it's just this gnarly jump at the, <laughs> at the top. I don't want to fuck it up, so I'm going to save here. Okay, go and jump and grabby grabs just in case. No, it's fine, we made it. There is a bat, I think, behind me. Come at me, bro. Eh. Not worth my time. Okay, right hand door is now open. These big chunky walls, it feels like I could just reach out and touch them. In real life, not virtually, but also both. Oh no. Okay, this one I think will be a run jump grab. Okay, so. Grab is trigger. Run jump, hold grab. Nice. Little bit of phasing through the scenery. But all in all... Nice and easy. Now, grip and walk to the edge. Not that far to the edge. Ball bags! Oh, fuck. I thought I wasn't... Oh, because there was no edge. Because the, gr oh, the crumbly floor was there, of course. What an absolute bum stain. How are we getting out of this, then? I literally cannot get out of this pissing water. See, I go up to the wall, and you think you'd press the action button and forward to climb up, but nothing. I just vibrate against here. So then maybe a little jump and a grab would do it, but that then puts me, makes the game think I'm underwater. I might have to reload my save from earlier because this is, 
Unbelievable. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it, friends. It's. I'm, I've been in here for 20 minutes. Got other stuff to do. Death from above, bat. <laughs> okay, we're back. But this time, we're quick saving. No. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Whoa, that was close. Uh, grab. And then run, jump, and grab. Alright, middle door is now open. Oh, wait, hold on. This is traps, isn't it? Yeah, whoa. Gnarly. <laughs> what massive choppers. It's very cool tomb raiding in first person. I've got to say. Oh, piss! I fell down. Don't drown, Lara. Don't drown. Oh, no. Hopefully there's an easy way to get out of the water. Otherwise, um, this Let's Play is not going to go very much further. Uh, grab forward. How the hell do you get out of the water? I wonder if I can cheat it. With keyboard controls. Oh, this doesn't fucking work either. Ah! It honestly should be as easy as pressing the action button when you get up to the walls, but it's just no doing it. I can't jump and grab because it just puts me in the swimming animation higher than normal. Now there's a bear. Ah! Literally, it's impossible. I don't think there's any way to progress without going in the water thing. I Maybe it's me. Maybe it's a problem with me. Maybe if Team Beef watch this, they can tell me what I'm doing wrong here with the climbing. But uh, I've tried it with multiple control schemes and it's just not doing it. Which is a shame because I really wanted to see the T-Rex. But if I can't get out the water... I can't progress, and if I stick around and try to do this for too much longer, because this is a four-day week, you lot won't get an Ian's VR Corner video, because I won't have time to bloody edit it. Oh well, there's only one thing for it. Let's drown Lara Croft in VR, shall we? Won't get to see her harrowing death animation, I expect, but it's cool that you can see the bubbles coming up from her wee little mouth. Bloop, bloop. Oh, and they kind of, they interact with the surface as well. That's cool. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> so cool. A lovely little detail that I've never noticed before. Oh, here goes the health. I can feel it vibrating in my controllers. And there we go. Thrashing about. And, oh, God. <laughs> Lara Croft is attached to my forehead. I'm like a unicorn, but instead of a horn, I've got Lara Croft. So yeah, there we go, my friends. Unfortunately, uh, due to time limitations and fiddliness, I am not going to be able to make it to the T-Rex uh, in this Let's Play, which is what I wanted to end the video on, a, a cool T-Rex fight. But in general, this work in progress VR mod is coming on pretty well in terms of controls i mean it controls really nicely aside from a few fiddly bits with uh, you know getting in the right position to pick up items or pull levers or or you know use keys to open doors it basically controls better than old school Tomb Raider, especially in terms of the shooting mechanics, because now I can, you know, six doff shoot anywhere I want, dual wielding these pistols and taking animals out. Honestly, way easier to kill animals in this version. This thing looks amazing in VR. Being in VR in original Tomb Raider, the aesthetics are great. The, the, the old school visuals work really well in virtual reality. I love holding these little chunky guns. These little flat textures of vines and things are just so charming. It's just, it's just, it's just a lovely kind of... Wait a minute. I did get out of the water once before, didn't I? So I got out of this bit no problem earlier. How did I do it? So why can't I do it in the other bit? Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Ian's VR Corner, everyone. If you enjoyed this look at Tomb Raider VR, 
then do give this video a like. Subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games and Ian's VR Corner episodes every Sunday. And why not click on some of these other videos? There are... Mother f How did I do that? Oh, I can't get working again. Christ's sake, climb. Oh, I don't... Listen, just, I'm going to lose my temper with this in a minute. So just check out one of these other Ian's VR Corner videos. They're on screen right now. Trust me, this mod is awesome. But, fucking hell, something needs to be done about getting out of the water because I'm about to lose my shit. Ah!